going to be looking at these paper mache houses. Uh, this is one of the, I think this is the third size that they make. There's a size bigger than this even. Um, but these are the houses that we did last time. So we're doing the next step up. Um, okay, in the interest of time, some of the steps to building these houses are repetitive, so those have been put into their own videos to show you for those people that need a step-by-step -step on how to do things. Um, because some of the steps are fairly involved and just worthy of their own videos. So we're going to go ahead and skip on this video from here to here. Um, because I have three of these videos to do each of these. I've got three of these houses. Each of them will be their own video. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and we're back, guys. I wanted to show you the step that we're at right now. <clears throat> As you can see, I've taken our prepared house and put quarter-inch thick uh, foam board all the way around it. I want this to be a three-story with two-inch levels. Um, just for scale purposes, you can see that this figure will fit in perfectly. I'm going to go with a timbered look around the trim on the bottom here. <clears throat> so it's going to be two inches here, two inches here, two inches here. Um, I'm this is quarter inch thick foam board. I'm going to go ahead and cover it with my wooden planks as I showed you in another video. I will post a link to that video if you want to see the step that I did to make these. Um, I'll post a link to that video in the description. But that's going to almost double the thickness of each of these sides. So it's going to be about a half inch thicker all the way around once this is all done. Um, you can see that I don't have a floor here. I'm not going to bother putting one in. These will be glued directly to the base, and the wooden planking on all four sides will give it plenty of added durability. So I'm not worried about needing the floor in there to give it a little more durability for uh, holding. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next step, and um, anything that I've skipped between here and the next step that you want to know, like on the windows and doors and all that stuff, all those videos will be in the description. So go ahead and check the description if you want to see how I did any of those things. Same thing with the shingling, because it's going to have a shingled roof. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so just a little bit of an update. Put the monk up here. I just went ahead and put the sand and gravel on the base. I'm waiting for that to dry. But you can see how far I've gotten it using the uh, wooden plank sheets. Let's see if I can get this to show you. And you can see here that I didn't bother putting a uh, floor in that under level but I've got plenty of stability because of the thickness of the wooden plank sheets, the uh, foam board, and that it's connected to wooden dowels. Um, the wooden dowels, I used the Gorilla Glue wood glue to put these big dowels all the way across to the wooden uh, planks. Added in a little more wood in there, you can see, to help reinforce it. Same thing at the front. Um, shouldn't really be necessary if you're doing something like this for your own personal collection, but since I'm doing this for a game store and they're going to get handled a lot, I just wanted them to be a little sturdier. Um, these ones you can also see are just glued to the wooden paneling and the wooden plank, little uh, craft sticks. That should be plenty to hold those in place. Just gotta wait for the uh, wooden gravel to dry. Or, sorry, the uh, sand and gravel. And then it'll be time to prime it. And then after that, paint and do the, the final little details. 
So now that you've seen it at this level, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the camera off for a bit. I'll go ahead and prime it, get it all painted up and everything, and it'll be ready for you guys to see the finished product. And then I'll put the videos up. Talk to you guys later. So here we are with the finished product. And we can see, back up a little bit. I did do little bits of static grass here, close enough to the edge that the sunlight could have hit it. Went ahead and did some moss on the underside. Pretty happy with how it turned out. And it is rock solid. The roof I went with a red coloration and for the base color I went ahead and used a uh, Tomte Red craft paint. Um, you can also use cherry red. They're pretty close to each other and then I did a dry brush of regular red and a little bit of highlighting with uh, some orange to add a little more contrast. I think the effect came out pretty well and I am super happy with the final project. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will talk to you guys later.